Hi everybody, my name is Kern and I post home recording weekly. Today we are looking at strum. Strum is an, uh, an acoustic and electric guitar virtual instrument from Applied Acoustics Systems that, as you're about to learn, is for a few different kinds of people. You have so many features in this thing, it's incredible, and different sounds. And I'm going to take you through a bunch of these things. And then we're going to play a bunch of the loops. Let's head over to the website first, and then I'm actually going to play a song that I've put together using Strum. This is the Applied Acoustic Systems website. And you might know, uh, have heard of these guys before. They they make a few different products. Uh, Lounge Lizard is one of them, and that's a, a more famous product. This review I'm going to put over on themodernproducer.com. The Modern Producer is a great place to get your information if you're into recording bands or tracking up songs using computers today in the digital age. So if you use a DAW, I think the Modern Producer is something worth checking out. And that's my website, Home Recording Weekly. Um, I give away a couple different videos here, video products all about microphones and then acoustic treatment made easy. And then you can get the home studio bundle as well. So make sure you check out Home Recording Weekly. So let's listen to an in to a quick music, um, song that I put together using Strum. There's two instances of Strum. One is picking hard left. One is the chords hard right. And there's a piano too. And I'm going to go in and, and solo each of these for you. And then we're going to go through the plugin itself. So let's uh, mute my mic and let's check it out. Okay, as promised, let's zoom in on each one of these tracks here and see what is going on. I'll mute my mic and do that. So that was the picked guitar, and let's check out the chord guitar here real quick. And then both of those, um, and I'll go ahead and hard pan them and then we can check them out together. So that's actually what's going on here in this song. But we're going to check out Strum and uh, a lot more detail here. Now, I just pulled up generic sounds when I tracked that together and wrote that. And I want to tell you, I wrote that in no time at all. It's very easy to use. However, where this thing really shines, as you're about to learn, is for the live keyboard player, like in a band, or if you're a keyboard player at all, and you don't know how to play guitar, then this thing is incredible. However, if you're a producer, let's see who this thing is for. If, if, if you're a producer and you need guitars in your song, but your guitar player can't make it, and you don't know how to play guitar, then without any effort at all, you can track up all kinds of guitars, as I just showed you. Pick notes, chords, whatever you want. This thing is very realistic. Let's go over the GUI here. There's three play modes, and there's three main sections uh, that I've discovered. You can tell it what kind of guitar you want, and then you can pick out all kinds of presets. I just went with, you know, what was dialed up, and then I tweaked it to my taste. You have keyboard, guitar, and loop, and we're going to cover these all really thoroughly. 
Now, the clock, you can sync it to your BPM or you can just bring it up and use it all by itself in a live setting. And as you can see here, there's some very generic compressor, EQ, distortion, chorus, and reverb settings. I say they're generic because most of them have just one knob. If you go over to the effects page and turn these effects on or off, as you can see, like the compressor, instead of having one knob, now there's attack, release, ratio, threshold, and makeup gain with meters. The EQ, same way. You can have frequency, the amplitude, and the Q for four bands here. you got high frequency, high mids, lows and low filter uh so yeah it goes on and on distortion chorus reverb and that's pretty amazing uh and here in the front as you see you only have one knob so that that's pretty darn cool uh tuning is over here that's pretty much um a no-brainer if you want to detune it to whatever song you have recorded and then the edit mode is pretty crazy you can show choose your pick finger type uh, and the, the choices are sharp, triangle, or par parab parabola, parabola, yeah, parabola. And then you can edit not one, but all six strings. You know, there's no global setting here. You can have each string do, you know, the harmonics different, the coupling different, the, the amp, hammer on, and, and tones, uh, the palm mutings, the body size, all kinds of cool, amazing stuff. Now, the six string thing here, you can have all kinds of different, you know, copy settings to all strings. So if you get it where you want on one string, then you can simply copy. That was pretty cool. Saved a couple of minutes. And then you go through and, and change everything else or, or set everything else the way you like it. And then, like I showed you, the effects. So in keyboard mode is how I used it when I wrote uh, my MIDI. I just stuck it on. I, I have it in keyboard mode and I write MIDI and every all the keyboard keys are notes and I will sh demonstrate that real quick here. Where things get really interesting here is when you take it out of keyboard mode and you put it in guitar and loop mode. Uh, these play modes basically are how your MIDI keyboard act and, and what controls these sounds. So when I wrote this song, I had it in keyboard mode, and I'll demonstrate what keyboard mode is for you here. Uh, what you play is what you get once you set your sound up. Now, when you put it in guitar mode, as you can see, it splits your MIDI keyboard up. You have strumming keys on the left, on the right, and then you have chord keys in the center. So what you do is you choose the appropriate strum key with your left or right hand, and then you choose your notes and chords with your other hand. For example, you can have this thing muffled down, uh, muted, palm mutes, upstrokes and downstrokes, things like that. And with your other hand, you just hit the chord. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you an example of what that sounds like. I'm going to play around here for a minute, and then we're going to get into loop mode. And I'm not much of a keyboard player, but I hope that gives you an idea. You have upstrokes, downstrokes, you have single notes, you can have chords, whatever you want. And again, it's so simple to palm mute and to chug and do things like that. Now in loop mode, things get even more interesting because you can choose what kind of loop you want in your, uh, it says here drag loops, 
to a MIDI track and switch to guitar mode, right? You can drag your loops, choose loops you want. And then over here, these are all of the loops. And I want to play some of these for you because they are, well, they're just so cool. You have country picking. Let's just take that. And then what you do is you play the key that you want these things to be in. And then with your other hand, well, look, you choose all these loops. Let's see what that's like. And let me tell you, there's different finger picking styles. There's different chord strumming styles. It's, it's just crazy. So in a nutshell, that allows all kinds of preset loops and different kinds of styles of picking those loops. So you have mutes, or uh, loops, I mean. So you can have mutes and upstrokes and downstrokes and syncopations of all kinds of predetermined loops, but each loop key that you select plays it differently. So if you're in a band and you need an acoustic part, maybe your guitar player is doing a lead, maybe there's no guitar players in your band at all, but it's a guitar song that you're trying to cover, well then quickly you can have a guitar playing in the background like, like it's nobody's business. And it sounds very good. And in guitar mode, if you're a keyboard player, you can do the same thing, but um, you can do it with your hands and, and get a very realistic part, you know, with your muting, your chugging, and your different chords and everything. So um, in loop mode, it's more of maybe you're singing and playing keyboard or playing two keyboards at the same time, and you just need a, a loop playing in the background that you can change with one hand and, and don't put a whole lot of thought into. And then in guitar mode, that's when you're playing a very authentic guitar in, in the band uh, as the keyboard player. And of course, you got your modulation wheels to bring your uh, bends and effects in. And then keyboard mode, that's for you guys out there that are writing music, writing scratch tracks, writing authentic guitar parts. So this is Strum. Strum is amazing. It sounds great. There's more presets than you could ever need. Um, and I have the acoustic one here. As I showed you, the option over on the Strum page is for the electric version and acoustic version together. Uh, I don't have the electric here in this version. Um, the modern producer wanted me to go through this one, so I gladly did so. And, and guys, I really like it. I'm keeping it. I, I, I think it sounds great. I think the live use here, uh, the potential for this thing is over the top. And like all uh, applied acoustic systems plugins, I mean, it sounds great, it's easy to use, and you can tweak this thing to make it sound like any song you're after. Again, my name is Kern, and I post home recording weekly. This is for the modern producer, and this has been Strum from Applied Acoustics Systems. <laughs>